And when uh, 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 Trump uh, oversteps the mark, uh, they will fight back. George Soros, one guy. There's a crisis collapsing our economy. George Soros. When the administration and the progressives look for a savior to step in and save the day, George Soros. He makes predictions and his loyal followers make sure they come true. He's pulled no punches about the end game. It's one world government. And then if one of them attacks me, so be it. Because at a certain point, man, I'm not going to sit here and take it anymore from a bunch of betas trying to act like they're men because a Nazi collaborator, George Soros, financed their ass. I'm not sure we need to bring George get Soros the into this. <laughs> I was going to say you get the last word, he speaker. <laughs> he, he, he paid for it. I mean, why can't we discuss the fact that millions no, of he dollars didn't. he spent? I, I agree with but Melissa. George people. Soros doesn't need to be a part of this conversation. Okay. We intend to continue this operation, either they imprison me or bust a cap in my head, whatever. I don't want to die, but send me on a long vacation. I ain't worried about it. There's a few things that you need to know about George Soros, and here they are. People generally uh, uh, play with this with a certain set of rules. I, I am particularly interested in changes in the rules of the game. That's George Soros! He's overthrown over 20 countries on record and destroyed their currencies and, and bankrupted hundreds of millions of people and he brags about it. And he says, if I didn't help Hitler, somebody else would have. It was the best time of my life. And I gotta sit there with some crazy dude that rounded up Jews and killed them. That's evil! He's the devil! You know what, let's just pray. In the name of Jesus against George Soros, and I'm serious, God's real. And I won't sit here while Alexander Soros and George Soros piss all over us. I pray to God for them to be given judgment. And judgment is the Lord's. And I pray on God's judgment to be visited upon them in however God sees that judgment. And I call on God and the covenant and the agreement and the demand with my ancestors committed that they be destroyed. I demand it. Awaken to who you really are. Just begun. Anytime he brings up his ancestors, it's amazing. They fought at the Alamo. Yeah, people still have no idea about George Soros. Like, if I bring that up, it's still like textbook, you're a crazy person. He does fund a lot of shit, dude. I mean, the dude just shorts economies. And that's he, as evil, if that's what you want to call it, as you can get. He's trying to end nations and nations having money. Yeah, he I mean. it should be all one thing. Yeah, that's what that that great reset was about. Just one global currency. Which yeah, is... they're trying to get all the nations to give up their sovereignty, and the reason that that pissed me off is because America's got we're the only ones with the Second Amendment. Yeah, that's the only reason that we are not getting shit welded shut on. It would us. be real tough to get like the South and the West. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I like, mean subjugate them. It is. It's wild. I guess it's not as bad here as it is in other countries because like. That shit that happened with Ike in uh, London or whatever, like, what the fuck? That's 30,000 people with no mask. Yeah. All all freaking out about it. I was watching some shit where they were talking about a wedding online, and it was like people died from the wedding. People went, got COVID, and they were, like, shaming them for having a wedding and, like, a reception and everything. Who are the people? And, uh... Like, I was just thinking the protest is like a fucking 10 weddings at least. Yeah, it's infinity know? weddings. That's what Ron, or Rand Paul, whatever his name is, was asking. It was either him or Jim Jordan were asking Fauci, like, why is it bad to go to church, but the protests are all right? And he, he will, on record, will not say the protests are bad. He just goes, if you want to gather in, in big things, it, it's, it, it's unhealthy. He won't say it's bad. He just dances around the entire subject. 
He just came at uh, Rand Paul. Yeah, watch the video. Yeah. It's infuriating because he, like, sits there and d- he, he's like. He's, like, all cock now. Like, you're wrong. You don't understand her to be yeah. Yeah, he's like, you're the only person who would believe that. Like, talking to him as if he isn't a doctor. I don't even believe in germs, bro. (laughs) Yeah, good point. (laughs) I mean, I've not cautioned myself whatsoever. My sister has coronavirus. I don't even care. So you were at the house. You brought corona here? Yeah. So I could potentially have corona. Yeah, if you want to believe you have coronavirus. You went to a a house that has coronavirus, and now I'm here with you. Yeah. Wow, so you're you're pretty much a super spreader. spreader. I'm a super spreader, yeah. No homo. (laughs) I mean, dude, <laughs> no one. respect. That's no respect one. for me. Dude. I mean, it's not real. King of the bits, dude. The the bits. <laughs> it's not real, dude. Like, I 100%. I say, I'll pray for your sister. I'll pray for her, dude. Thank you, dude. I hope she Stop doesn't get simping. too sick. Stop I simping. I hope she doesn't get too sick, dude. Speaking of simping, I have a clip for you. What, you're going to show me somebody simping? No, not anyone simping. It's just Is some... it of me? No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just... Did you catch me on a live jet? Someone thought something about Jeffrey Epstein, and they had it wrong. But I want I just want... Since you played me in Jones, and you sent me into a fucking spiral, I just... I want your opinion on Kurt Metzger's podcast with Corinne Fisher Are and Are we going to pause it? No, I'll just play it right in the thing so everyone hears exactly what she said. rich, good looking and, and tall because I thought he was short and I thought that's why he started a whole island for, uh, you know, young people. Because, okay. You know, that's, I mean, that's how people get really upset about being short. Did you call short. it the Epstein Island for young people? Yeah, for young people. <laughs> he started a program for young people because he was short. Well, no one was swiping young, right. Young people islands. I had a great cuties, time cuties at young, island. young people. Like, <laughs> Yeah, okay, Bill. I, okay, Bill. <laughs> what are you doing? What to me, the man? fuck is that? That's girls. I told you. That's fuck. I told you the way they the are. The fact dude. that that's a funny joke. That's a funny joke. Laugh at people that didn't get tall. I tried. <laughs> I don't think insane. I wanted to get tall. You don't think I was little being like, man, that'd be so cool. Does to she be know big. people drive when they listen to podcasts? I got podcasts? as big as I could get. <laughs> I got as big as I could get. I heard if I had 85 grand, I could be six foot. I mean, fucking up the Patreon. All these dollar dogs. Give I mean, us give us eighty five grand. I swear to God, we'll get that's how dog. that's girls, dude. That's insane. That's a girl and that's the kind of a girl that will defend cuties. A yes. girl that's a height supremacist. Yes. A fucking bitch. <laughs> I heard that. I and was it's just, like they're so ra- I would hollow you out. Easy now. All right, I'm not bragging. Oh. Easy now, dude. We had we said nothing about penises. But dude she pisses me the fuck off. <laughs> I don't understand how they could sit there and say that shit. And then also in their head be like, oh, I have no well, ill will. I didn't hear any uh, defense there, guys. Yeah. The other men in the podcast. I didn't hear any defending of your short brothers. Bunch of alcoholic six Yeah, just six laugh letters. it up. Laugh it up. <laughs> Bunch of well, alcoholic six Six foot letter. two unemployed fucking illiterate <laughs> bastards. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that. Just like, Jesus Christ, dude. That was like the View video where they were like openly just shitting on how you can't feel safe with short people. That was the Black View, dude. That, what was it called? <laughs> Whatever, like the talk, something like that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I watched that and I was just like, come on, man. Like, why can't we just start focusing on the individual instead of the fucking height and all the stats? Yeah. It would just be nice, dude. It would be. I mean, I would like to be judged on the content of my character. Preach, you know, not yeah. how many centimeters I grew up to. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that. Shit, I because you told me to watch that, and I was watching. I was like, I never, I never no got that far this. into it because yeah. his phone would be cracked into a million pieces. My, the back of my phone is fucked up right now. But yeah, <laughs> no, I didn't finish it. I got to like the cuties part, and then I was like, I'm done. Yeah, that shit. That like the whole defense everyone has is just like the movies like has a good point. It's, that's not the point. Yeah, we are. We've been it's over. This, yeah, I, the like, kids had to do it. Yeah, you know? I I watched all those fucking things, all like the rebuttals, and I was just like, dude, fuck this. I saw. You, I showed you the clips, man. You saw it for yourself. Yeah, that hurt my feelings, dude. Yeah, that's not even the weird shit. I was reading this other thing that was uh, it was talking about how China pretty much just duped everyone. Like <laughs> their propaganda just duped, yeah duped everyone into committing economic suicide. Duh, good point. Yeah. Yeah, like, and they, now we're they here. pump faked. They literally, like, all those videos were fake. People were like, dude, they did it best. They locked down everyone. It was amazing, but they pulled it off. Yeah, and then they got a head start on the reopening of their economy. Yes. But, I mean, at the end of the day, dude, it's the same as every other communist regime that's ever been. It's all for God. It's all for Gazis. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I, I don't understand. Like, I literally, 
Like, we live in a world where there's black and gray and white propaganda and all that weird shit yeah. going on aimed at us all day long. Yeah. But what China does, China's trying to, like, you know, they're they're acting, like, to the rest of the world, like, we're good, we're good. Oh, yeah, you know, like, you were talking about, like, on the internet, like, those aren't real people. Like, they're not in the real world. China has, like, millions of people just fucking online doing shit. So if, like, you're on some subreddit that's just, like, thrashing anyone without a mask, like, there's a huge chance that it's literally all fake people just, like, saying, like, going through algorithms of what could be the worst thing to say to someone to piss them off. Well, I, an AI could do it at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's no – they – the – I mean, Corbett came out recently. James Corbett came out and said, are conspiracies compromised? Con- the are- subreddit. Oh, 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 yeah. He came out and said it's compromised. It is fucking insane. It's just nothing but bots. Yeah. You know? And those AI bots, they're timed. You know, they they know when to hit it. Yeah. Like, they they know when it's busy in each time zone. And then they hit, like, the comments relative to the time zones. You know what I mean? It's pretty high tech. I mean, it just keeps people engaged ever since Reddit got ads. It's just gonna keep people on on that, so then that stopped being what that was supposed to be. Yeah, that that yeah. like it is so weird now going on Reddit. Like you can't do or say anything, and it's just like they'll just keep updating their terms of service. Yeah. to the point where, like, you're breaking all these rules, and they're taking all your data. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, phones should just be free. Well, if the amount of money people are making off phones, like they should just be free. Phones. Sh- Phone should be free, and you should be getting paid for your data or something like that. Yeah, I mean, this is nuts. Yeah, I mean, because they're making a ton of money off you. And that was all in, what WikiLeaks was that? Seven, the big, like, uh, there was, like, it was like, a cool WikiLeaks name for it. Seven. Yeah, yeah. H.A. Goodman was on the case. That was years ago. Yeah, that was, that like, was literally four, like, four years ago or something like that. Yeah. All that, sh- there was, like, everything spying on you, and everyone's just like, ah, whatever, I got nothing to hide. It's like, dude, the way things are going... I don't really think it matters if you have nothing to hide. Like, well, no, they, it's not like they were, they weren't spying on you to like get you in trouble. They were spying on you to make money off. Yeah, of you. to get ads and, and all that shit. And then they can say they can say like, okay, we got Billy looking at X, Y, and Z on Instagram or whatever. Real guy cut bike. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> assault bikes. And then like they'll sit there and go, well, he he clicked on that and he's almost about to buy it, and that's worth money. Yeah. Now, like you don't have to even pull the trigger. The fact you that literally don't even have to click on it. If your mouse or finger is near it on the phone, like if your finger is near it, not even touching the screen at this point, they can see like, all right, we'll keep hitting them with those ads. Yeah, but like that, that they get paid for almost. They get paid for like you looking at it. They get paid for every little morsel they give. Yeah. So I mean, that the phone should be free, but I just think people need to chill with using the internet so much. Yeah. Like because. You're not in control of this fucking thing, man. No, and it's it's definitely just putting you into, like, tailspin and stuff like that. Because, like, if you go on any subreddit right now, it's like, here's video of protests. This is, like, they're just going to piss Dude, you off. Dude, if it gives you an emotional reaction, it's propaganda. Yeah. yeah. Like, anything that makes you have a feeling, that's technically propaganda. If yeah. it was just facts, like the news, it was just straight up, like, yo, there's protest. Like you Thomas would just be Sol like, talking. You'd just be like, oh, shit, there's a lot of protests going on. But they'll fucking say, all right, it's dinner time, family sitting down, let's hit them with the fucking 6 o'clock news. Oh, yeah. And then that's all orchestrated by one company. Yeah, yeah. one of six people, five now. But watching that, like, I would see these, like, protest videos. I'd be, like, waiting for my truck to warm up in the morning and just, like, scrolling. And then I'd just be like, fuck, dude. They're doing yeah, you're it, you're just too. pissed They're off. They're doing it, too. Like, like I would dude, realize you'll call it- me up, and I'll be breaking your balls. And you'll be like, oh, you woke up bad today or yeah. something like that. But dude, you, what you don't realize is like you you pick up the phone and start talking to me with like divisive shit straight off the bat. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, all right, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so you create that. Yeah, yeah. But you've been looking at the internet. It's evil. And you're man. like, oh, what's up with you, dude? And I'm like, nah, man, it's not just me. It's the web. You're doing that to me. Like, you're calling me, being like, oh, ugh, this bullshit. It's like all yeah. aggro vibe. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like that. They're creating that. That's just between me and you. That's just one phone call. Think of that. Think about if that's like, between two people that know it's fake. Yeah. Think about if it was like somebody's weird Q ant and then some fucking libtard. Yeah. And they're like, oh hey, happy birthday. You can't even have those conversations, and you can't even have normal discourse anymore. 
Yeah, I mean, because uh, your aunt's gonna f- spaz the fuck out about Pizzagate. Yeah, this shit is literally just rip families apart. Oh yeah, big time. Especially with like all the money that's involved in like Reddit and stuff like now, na- stuff like that. Now it's like, I don't know, just kind of do shit in the real world. <laughs> well, dude, they admit in the one uh, that lanyard dude's book, like they know what they're doing, and it's like so if they know what they're doing, they know the effect, and they know how to do this to get you engaged. And the fucking shit that pisses you off gets you clicking on it the yeah. most. If they know that that's what's going on, who the fuck is con- who the fuck's like, oh, this will be good. Do this. I mean, not people that are patriots. Exactly. That yeah. want to keep the fucking shit together around here. Yeah, I mean that is one hundred percent true. Especially, it's the same shit with like Operation Mockingbird. It's like, oh, they stopped that after they didn't see it worked out. Like Bernays did all that shit, and they were like, yeah, we just like kind of like you know. We don't do any of that shit anymore. Don't worry about us having the internet now and, like, pretty much a view into your entire world. Dude, the other thing, too, a lot of people will laugh off is MK Ultra. What do All you the th- time. What do you think? MK Ultra was just Ted and Charlie Manson? Like, you think those They're are the, the guys only- who went wrong? Those are the guys that w- that you know about that got the program. If that shit never popped off, if Manson never happened, you probably wouldn't have it out in the open a book the about church it. commission yeah. any of that shit yeah. they wouldn't have had to talk about it but since they did dude they've been studying psychology they were picking up where the nazis left off and they were studying psychology this is this might just be an mk like this might be mind control oh it is like this whole internet like the silicon valley mindset right mm-hmm. now this might be like shit from that they learned from mind control like yeah, all the stuff's like the, that weird Orwellian thing, like the way they like shut things down, then give you a little bit back, and then shut it back down, and stuff like that. Like it's all like textbook fucking mind control. Yeah, I, you, it makes you feel like if you start to feel like a, a hamster in a wheel or a mouse in a maze. Yeah, this might be we might be in mind control, dude. We might be in an MK Ultra scenario. Yeah, I mean, Ike was saying it in the crowd that we're just, it's just like, dude, none of it's real. We're on a roller coaster. You can decide whenever oh, yeah, you want to get Bill the Hicks fuck quote. off. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> that's what it is, though, dude. Like, exp- like the I think the best thing to do is just completely detach from anything that's going on with that. Like, yeah, I've, for a while, I've been like just wanting to go out in the woods, man. <laughs> that's all I think about. It's like I'm like, man, I'm really like missing out on nature. I want to get out of here, but I'm like trapped. Yeah, so I can't. But I would love to just get the fuck up in. Potter County, dude. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, see you later, guys. That would be nice. It, it like very small amounts of hope come out of Florida, where it's just like, yeah, dude, everything's back open. Like if th- it's so fucked up that it's to the point where if they did that, Your I would has COVID. Hey, calm down. If they did that, I would literally just be like, all right, even chill with all that shit. Open everything back up. Even we won't even bring it up that it was so fucking weird and kind of like you know, borderline illegal. Just open everything back it's up. The scandemic. Yeah. Just open everything back up. We'll forget about that little fucking WAP Fauci and everyone else, and we'll just do our thing. Let all of us try to fucking put back our lives into the pieces that you shattered them. Yeah, it's weird. There's a real big push right now to, like, get all this kind of, like, dissent of talking about, like, this conspiracy, stop talking like that, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But if you think about it, man, it's like Obamagate's happening. Yeah, and they're looking at the Clinton Foundation. The same Foundation. fucking dudes that are telling me about Obamagate are telling me it's a pandemic, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm like, all right. Like, it's got to be fake. Yeah. I mean, look at the world, dude. <laughs> There's just not that many fucking sick people. Like, heads are rolling. Except my sister. Yeah, She's not that sick. sick. As a running nose. She was out partying. Maybe it's maybe she got sick from partying. Or I don't she know. tested positive. For the coronavirus. You know they spin it 15 for more the, times than they have For the to. COVID-19. Dude, what were you saying? <laughs> I can't believe I'm here at risk right now with someone that could potentially be covered in it. If you believe it, yeah, sure. You could be covered in corona right now. Yeah, I could be covered in human shit, too. Who knows? I don't know, man. I It it does make me nervous. What if we get? What if they release something... What if this was all just like to get people to not wear masks? You've been saying that. And then it's like they're going to hit us with a real one. Hit me. Bill Gates is laughing on TV. Oh, this, the next one. Yeah, because he re- just made trillions of dollars. They'll really get fucking pissed on the next one. But they didn't even yeah. release one this time. Ah, uh, they released something. They're at 10,000 deaths right now. 
that's just solo. Yes. That's not with the other comorbidities. Dude. Yeah, Please get it right. <laughs> 200,000. People are dying. 200 million people are going to die by the time we're done this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if they actually... 150 million people died of sh- gunshots. <laughs> dude. And you can see that from about 5,000, 100 million miles out with our satellite in the masses. Senate for 180 years. <laughs> that, I think he was fucking around, dude. That was a good joke. Yeah, that was a Joe. joke. It's just I don't think he knows how to read a joke off yeah. the telephone. His leather jacket wasn't on when he said nah, that. Nah, nah. Yeah, his members only was at home. Yeah, that's like, I don't like, I don't know how anyone's arguing about any of this shit anymore. Like, it's just because of social media. Yeah, that dude's just gone. Biden's gone. <laughs> He's just yeah. like the leather jacket. Biden's on. not home, dude. Kids are constantly getting saved on their roofs. Oh yeah. It's like, can He's we just trying to steal his own car on on a daily basis, dude? <laughs> like, no one's letting that dude drive. There should be an age limit. Like, if you're in oh, the seventies, that would be great. Get that the fuck would be out great, of here, dude. Oh yeah. Like, go home. Go to retirement home. Go play bocce ball. That Shit would... your pants a little bit. Do whatever you want. Just get the fuck out of power. I was just thinking, like, you just said age limit. I'm thinking, like, of other old-ass people that are, like, still. Literally everyone. But, dude, like, think about, like, Kissinger. Yeah. That dude's still around. Yes. He's, like, still doing fucking Bilderbergs and shit. Yes. Yo, maybe for the Patreon, let me go downstairs and get the map. And we can talk about the map. Oh, yeah. We'll do that. No problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he's on that fucking map, dude. Everyone's on that map. It is insane yeah, though because we got like Ryan Dawson's FC map, go fuck yourself. Yeah, we go for people at the top of the pyramid. <laughs> it is crazy though because like, dude, how many seven? Like, it is impressive when you see someone in their seventies and they're like with it. I mean, did you see the dude that was Jill Biden's first husband? Absolute Chad unit. Is that Jill's his wife? Dude, Joe Biden's wife was stolen from another man. You don't know about this? No. Okay, so the, Joe was married to this other dude, and Joe Biden broke up a family. He broke up a home. Well, now I know where Hunter gets it from. I don't even know if she's the mom of all those boys. I'm not sure. But you got to check it out. But the dude is— That's in, some weird rich dude shit. The dude is not that bad. Like, he was, in, he was banged up. He was in the hospital or something, but they showed a picture of him, and I was like, damn, that's a man compared to fucking Biden. Looks like a goddamn reptilian looks like weasel. Looks a politician. Yeah, I can't fuck it. I can't fuck with that dude. Yeah, that's what I remember. There was one dude when I was like, I just can't fuck with that dude in general. Yeah, his whole existence kind of just fucking makes my dick itch. Yeah. Like I remember when I was 16 years old, dude. He reminds me of the dudes where I was 16. I would just have to go around and sweep out rooms. I would follow demolition c- crews and I would sweep out rooms all summer long and bring the trash to a dumpster all day long. The one dude who was a partner, he came in the room one time. I say, hey. What's up? Literally right through. I know who you speak of. You know who I speak yes, of. I've been on the elevator with this man. Yeah. I also, too, am just a shadow. So <laughs> this dude was at a benefit or a party, whatever the like, whatever the things, the events. That's what they're called, events. The rich people go to the events and they network, you idiots. That's why you're poor right now. You are poor right now because you don't network, okay? Once you can get out to the events, you get the good suits, you meet the people, and you network. You talk about everything you have and how sick you are. Maybe for you. Maybe at six feet that works. Yeah. Not for me. But if you're a realtor, it could work. I guess. Realtors can go out. If you're a realtor, you're, you already know what I'm talking about. You're kind of at the top of the social structure. You know that the dark cabinets are in right now. You know all this shit's cool. But, yeah, he went to some event and fucking met a girl and was like, you're mine now. And she had a wife, and she made him. Or he made her call her husband and say, yo, it's over. What? Yes. That's not true. Swear to God. Well, Biden did a similar thing. And now he got a drunk driving accident and has one leg. (laughs) Wow. That's karma, my friend. Don't do shit like that. Yeah, Biden's kids are dead. Yeah, Biden one. Biden's kid had a fucking goofy brain. That thing exploded and Hunter Biden is literally off the rails. Oh, that dude's going to get in trouble. For what? Hunter Biden's going to get in trouble. Oh, my God, dude. For what? Burisma, you conspiracy theorists? Go fuck yourself. For real, man. Dude, I should punch you in the face right now talking about Joe. It's fucking happening. (laughs) Talking about Uncle Joe like that, dude. His kid didn't do shit. Trump called him out on Twitter. I mean, Trump (laughs) Trump called Obama out on Twitter. Trump's bodying everyone on Twitter. Dude, he's calling him out on Twitter, like, saying, like, fuck you, Obama, fuck you, Hillary. (laughs) I would 
I, like, dude. Like, dude, he lives for revenge. Yes. This man's on record saying, like, yeah, yeah, you know, turn the other cheek is cool, but I'm waiting to revenge eye for an eye. Dude. He's a psycho. Like Look this, at what he did to Ghislaine, dude. People can't I wish understand you the concept. I wish Imagine you will. your whole life you're just murdering it. Everyone's yeah. just like, dude. Go fuck yourself. Dude, I was just I was just talking to Congress. I'm really smart. There's an interview where he was like fucking he had a list. Cause he was at the top. And then when he fucking lost his money, yeah. he was going around and like, you know, classic story, nobody knows you when you're down. Yeah. Everybody wanted to be his friend. And then he was down and he was going around asking for some help. And nobody was like everyone was like, nah, get the fuck out of here, yeah. dude. They all counted him out, dude. Nobody knew that he was going to be president. He's on a fucking war path. Yeah. They were making fun of him and laughing at him, bringing him lunches, dude. He's heated. That's what I'm saying. Like, everyone's like, oh, why is he tweeting all this, this shit? He's going revenge. crazy. He's a petty man, dude. You're at the end of your life, and you can end literally everyone. Winning. Yes. <laughs> I would do the same shit. Like, he's online right now saying he wants a drug test before the debates, dude. And that's, like, so over the line, it's not even funny. Like, Joe Biden obviously can't function without provisional or what and trump's sitting there laughing telling that we need a drug test obviously i'll also take one yeah i mean dude i don't know what the fuck i don't know how i don't know how they're gonna do it i didn't think they were gonna do it and i definitely didn't think it was this soon i, mean, I, I thought September. for sure they'd cancel it dude they I can't mean, look at the guy man they can't it's not fair man dude I'll... it's not right they shouldn't they shouldn't be doing this to this guy man this is somebody's grandpa. Ten billion people will watch this thing, dude. That's what you don't understand. We you think this is just for the commercials? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> if they're that much of leeches, yes. It's a guess. I amount of guess. Nah, dude. Fuck. I, he's to call it off, man. It's over, dude. It's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Pull them off, man. I mean, they just shut the entire country down to make tons of money off a of scamdemic. They're going to push Joe Biden out there and be like, Zyrtec, you need this stuff. I really want to know what everybody's on about with this whole, like, after the election and everything will go back to normal. Totally won't. I just want to know where they're getting that. There's so many, like, normal people that are just like, oh, yeah. I'm like, dude, am I this retarded? I mean, it does Don't get. Don't answer that question. It's, <laughs> it's a rhetoric question. Yeah, it does. I mean, it definitely gets a little zany around the election, but the way all this shit's going with all these fags that, like, cry about with like antifa and stuff like that it's like you just have to kill them like they're never gonna shut the fuck up it's gonna be four more years of this and it's doing so well on the news and stuff they're getting great numbers for their protests yeah they're gonna keep doing it if you show me a video of a girl saying we were all so glad when we saw that um like shit burning that's gonna get all the clicks yeah you know like people that like that stuff and people are gonna hate watch that stuff yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, this is all like you're in a clickbait world. Everything. It's like a there. clickbait mind control thing where they're like guiding your phone. Yeah. It's like a fucking Ouija board. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> oh, dude, he likes to, he, th- this keeps him activated. You know? Yeah, dude. I like, it is fucking annoying because, like, it's fun to, like, laugh at, like, memes and stuff like that on the internet. You know I love the memes. <laughs> they make me laugh. But, like, once you actually start trying to look into something, you're just fucked. Like, my one my one buddy, like, didn't believe me when I was saying that, like, we're in North Korea. But at this point, like, you can't look up something without, like, the most bias. Well, not from Google. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, not from Google. You have and- to actually know computers, I think, to, like, change all the settings. Yeah. I think there's a way to do it. We need to figure that out. They but. just kind of like, you know, they don't tell you because they got to make the money. But all the all the social medias are are all propaganda. Yes. And they're propaganda that is catered to you, and I think that that's mind control. It is. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. a hypnosis where you people people get all sucked into it, and then there's people in the world that are like, fuck, man, we got to mm. get rid of Trump. Because Biden's our, Biden, Biden's going to be the man. No more no more lies, dude. Bye, Don. Yeah, the dude's not even going to be able to hang at all in these debates, man. There's yeah. no way. It's going to be, like, really bad. This is going to be better than the last time. Yeah. I was, was really hoping for a rematch. You know that I was hoping for that rematch. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, like, dude, on my phone right now, I'm down to 15 minutes a day. Yeah. 
That's where it should be, dude. That's how bad, like, all this shit. I, I just don't look at anything. We don't have to, man. We don't even have to do this podcast, dude. We don't have to, we don't have to get into this <laughs> shit. We don't have to look at any of this shit yeah. anymore, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> we'll just use it as phones. Yeah, literally. It, it is fucking nuts, though. Like, there's people out there that are just getting bodied by social media. Yeah. So if, I mean, fa- if you at, get mad at all at your phone, like, perfect example, like, the phone is making you pissed off. Well, like, that girl made me mad. Exactly. Yeah, that clip made me mad. That'll, that'll get clipped up, but all these people are going around, and then it's affecting the outside world. I was a victim of this on Thursday. I was a victim of an attack, and I just played it cool, dude, because I'm not in the phone. I'm not in all that world. I go up. I try to drop the dumpster, and the guy's sitting there. He's in a skid steer. He has earphones on. Another guy's jackhammering. Can't hear shit. I have an air horn. I have electric horn. I pull up, and I give a little tap, tap. That's it, dude. Literally so normal. A friendly beep. A very friendly beep, like a what's up kind of beep. This dude. Tell everybody what you did to this guy. He fucking lost it on me. He started like, you, and hey, I'm just telling you, not that it matters, but he's Italian. I'm honestly, all, I'm, I'm on his side. Honestly. Not that it matters, but he's Italian. Flips the fuck out. You can't beep a fucking horn at me, all this shit. Losing it. And a guy like me, usually you're sitting there like, oh, fuck this. This guy isn't going to get the best of me. Me, being a a 15-minute-a-day kind of guy, he's screaming at me, and I just go, hey, man, something's going on in your head that's not in my head, and I'm sorry about that. Keeps on flipping out, and I just go, go ahead, man, get it out. Get it out on me. Kill me, man. Just yell at me right now. That's fine. Headphones are on. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, Bill, that's a psyop. You know what you did to him, dude. To a boomer, that's for a boomer, that's a psyop, dude. Just like, hey, man. I mean, it's a big facts, but you know that they're not ready for that. They're not ready for those pills, dude. But that, like, especially being on the road every single day, sometimes you just got to be like, all right. And did you go back and you gave him some more horn? Well, Tell the people what okay. you did. I'll finish this story. Victim. <laughs> With your victim mentality. Well, you're going to get beeped at every time I see you now. But I drove on my way out of the job. I just gave him another air horn. Loud air horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see him yeah. fucking flailing around, really all pissed off. That, yeah. Can't yell at Italians. They know everything. And then two hours later, conveniently, I had to stop down the street. I had to hit the air horn again. I'm sorry, but this is going to happen. As long as I see that name on the side of a truck, I'm beeping at you. Because now we're playing games. <laughs> but it is crazy, dude. It's Pretty like, much Trump. You can, like, if you can just do that. Especially if you're not all like, I think it's harder if you're already pissed off. Like you were saying, if I call you, I'm already like all pissy. Yeah, yeah. You're, these you're, situations you're get escalated. Situation. This is how protests and people are getting shot because all these people come together who have been watching people wrongly hurt Antifa and pepper spray them, and then people wrongly hurting Trump supporters. And these two people come together, and there is no let it out, dude. They just fucking fight each other. And this is all fueled by shit that's happening on the internet, not in real life. Yeah, but dude, the they were trying to monetize the way that we use the phones. And if we as citizens start getting ed- more educated and stop using the phone the way they do, yeah. we can use this technology for the good that it's meant to be. Yeah. And we can get to the next level. And if you want to have fun, just every day, six, seven times a day, Google search 69 ball sack. Does everyone just start Google searching random shit and fucking up algorithms? I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I think you're just going to get a bunch of ball sacks. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like if it is crazy though, because like after like not being it, I haven't had fucking like Instagram or any of that shit forever, and like just watching people on a daily like get all pissed, like get pissed at me for not wearing a mask, like go by like, you fucking asshole. It's like, dude, for you to be that pissed off at someone else doing something that has nothing to do with you, like you got something going on up there. Yeah, if they can. uh if we can survive the growing pains of them trying to monetize your internet usage. Yeah. Because before you, you before you would just get online and people were worried about internet history, there was like no targeted oh, ads yeah. for years. <laughs> like for years, there was no ads. So like, definitely not targeted. Once the targeted ads were coming, it was like hyperspeed. But that was like social media. Before that, there was like very few ads. There was just pop-ups. There was pop-ups on certain parts. Those were just parts, malicious. Some parts, <laughs> yeah, some parts of the internet, but for the most part, the internet was like eBay. Yeah. You know, there was not much going on. 
early 2000s. And, like, it, it is it is brutal, though, because in some aspects, it's cool. Like, if you're trying to search stuff and you're, like, trying to get into something, that's sweet. But once they start manipulating it for, like, their benefit and your demise, it becomes very evil. No, oh, you are in control of your demise. I know that, but I'm yeah. saying, like, it leads you to, like... Eat the poison. They don't, yeah, like, they don't care if you get demised or if you fucking keep... Getting, Nothing keep they're rocking. doing is illegal. That's the key thing. Well, they make the laws, dude. Oh, yeah. They lobby hard as fuck for the laws. Yeah. So, I mean, that's not going to change. But if, if you change, then you're they're powerless. Like, uh, what's his name? That Adam Curry dude was saying, just fuck with them. Yeah. Just stop being so predictable. Yeah. You know, like, don't grab your shit in the morning. Don't grab your phone in the morning and start looking at shit. Yeah, the main thing I do right now is if like I, it's at the end of the day and I'm watching something, I'll pick it up, realize I have nothing, and then throw it. That's about as far as That's I get That's where you're now. at now? Yeah. Get I a did, book I, or something, man. What's that? Get a book. Well, yeah, I'm watching Raised by Wolves, dude. <laughs> it's pretty much a book. <laughs> no, I mean like for your truck. Like when you have downtime and you're sitting there playing with your phone. Yeah. You could have like a little little book on your side. Be like, oh, I'll crack open my book, read a couple pages. Yeah, definitely because. Yeah, you because know, I mean that's not going to hurt your brain as much as the screen's not good for your eyes either. Oh, fuck, no, I can't even. That's why I don't even look you at it in the morning. got bad eyes, dude. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get LASIK, dude. Yeah, but I'm just saying. We got to hold on to your eyes as long as we can. Today's supposed to be the Puerto Rican day parade. I don't know if they cancel it or not. I don't know. Oh, speaking of which, they tried to do the encampment in the park in my house, dude, yes. and immediately it got shut down. Dude, I found out what that encampment's about, and it's a good cause. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it makes sense, but it's just it got absolutely fucked. Yeah, I mean, people were getting stabbed and shit there. Yeah. It's fucking retarded. Like, people are trying to get housing. They're on, like, housing lists, and they really need housing. And due to the fact that HUD and all that shit is ran by absolute mongoloids, and it's all grease— they're not getting what they want. So instead of throwing a hissy fit and like doing all this shit, people should actually look at who's running it. Like all this shit is fucked. Like people are waiting for houses for like six months, two years. They it's won. crazy. They won. What do you mean? They just won. Who won? The homeless. What do they do? They just, that whole thing, the reason they had the encampment, they just won. So maybe they could just knock, off, knock it off with the encampment. Yeah. They gave them the houses. They gave them 50 houses. Okay, <laughs> that's good, but it's still like all that. It's the same shit with Black Lives Matter, all that stuff. There's good causes, and then they just see that they're like, "Oh, we can infiltrate this fucking Soros and dude. push our Marxist agenda and fuck it all up." Like, if you want free housing, there's no reason to be cutting parking cones in half and using them as shields for practice. Nah, because if you're really like, "God damn it, I need a house," you don't look at a parking cone and be like. I could use that there's as a, a real, shield. There's a real disconnect with how much people understand about housing. Yeah. And, like, they don't realize that, they're, that it's not free to have a house. Yeah. It's not like someone hands you a house and then you're good now. It's so expensive. It's so much work. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it is crazy. Like, I, I did feel bad once I read that shit. I don't really, like. You have to I, maintain a building. It's like maintaining a car. Yeah, and it is it is fucked when the people that you have maintaining the building are fucking trash. Like, anything that has to be done, it won't happen for four weeks. Yeah, no. And that just leads to... There's no money in it. When you get an ultra-low It gets low siphoned income, the fuck out. The thing that they want is supposed to be for people under 30 grand a year. What? Yeah, it's going to be for people that make under 30 grand uh, or under 25 grand a year or something like that. Yeah, that's like legal poverty or whatever there's 150,000 homes in philly that live like that really yeah Whew. yeah that's literally zilch dude yeah what is that for one person or is that a uh, that's for a family uh, yeah to a household that's fucking dirt yeah they're gonna keep it that for a household yeah i mean if <laughs> if you have that little money you need fucking help from the goob but it, it is crazy that like all those things, especially in Philadelphia, it's the most grease. Like, there's so much money that gets pumped in that and then just out the back door, go up to Overbrook, see all the fucking Range Rovers, see all the Lexuses in the fucking driveways. They have the big fucking nice houses up there, and they just run fucking scams. Yeah. Classic government shit, dude. And then it's like, ah, oh, white dudes are doing this. Yeah. It's, it's just we scumbags. It's, it's a weird thing where. There's nothing about race. As soon as the government or like these nonprofits are involved in these neighborhoods, there's no development. You mm -hmm. need the free, the free market guys to go in there 
and go build whatever the fuck they feel like building. Yeah. Because yeah. the all those programs just fucking stall out neighborhoods. You can sit there and cry Didn't gentrification it happen all your, yeah. You cry gentrification all day long, but it's like, dude, it just is what it is, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like people are gonna run and gun and try to make money. That's what America is. Yeah. So if you don't like that, you get out the way. Move, bitch. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to post up and be like, this is gentrification, it's like, dude, it's time for your people to leave. You don't have any money. That's just the way of the world. Yeah, you don't have the title to your place or you're renting or whatever, and they got developers coming in. Guess what? Rent's going up. House prices going yeah. up. Taxes going up. It's like, dude. It's just the way it is, dude. There's a whole life before you moved into that neighborhood. Yeah. You know? It's just a cycle of things. It's things get nice. Things world, get dude. shitty. Yeah. I, that's why I don't want to hear an ounce of like gentrification or whatever. It's like, oh, dude, your neighborhood's getting nice. If you can't keep up with it, you're going to have to move in this shitty neighborhood. It's just getting nicer. Yeah, my house is the only house on the block that's like original. Every other house. Had, Yours is like redone. a ghost town. Yep. Yeah. There's just so nothing like but foundations. At one time, no one, like who was, who was freaking out when all of those places were getting demolished? No one. They were just making money on demol. How much were they yeah. getting for uh, the front of the houses? What are you talking about? Didn't they have that program where it was like crazy money? Oh, seven G's, yeah. Seven G's per house. Yeah. But it you literally make, costs like twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, it had to make under under fifty a year to get it. So and if you didn't do something fucked like that, you could have just made the whole neighborhood nicer. They just do these things. Their money go around, kickbacks, you know how yeah. it works. Yeah, it's just insane that you gotta sit there and hear about all this shit. It's like, dude, the neighborhood has been shit forever. No one has done it anything for it. Since the 90s, yeah. Yeah, like everything's been fucked. Like all West Philly has been fucked since the 70s. And then it's been fucked, it's been fucked, it's been fucked. Oh, house gets flipped over. Oh, fuck you. Why are you doing that? It's like, dude, your brain's gone. <laughs> you're fucked. You're fucked in the head. If you're complaining about your neighborhood getting nicer, literally leave. Yeah. That's like a, you don't understand shit. It would be nice. I, I don't understand. I was like, oh, I've I mean, been we're here. doing my driveway, and the dude's walking around telling me I, I should be smoking this PCP. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking dents Dent. rolling, dents rolling up trying to give me PCP. I'm like, I'm good, dude. Shout out, Dent, if you're listening to this. Yeah, just chilling and dipping, and I'm like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, I also don't understand, like, it's, like, rampant over in West Philly of, like, fuck gentrifiers, all this stuff. And then it's, like, the same people are living in, like, $600,000 houses that are huge in West Philly. It's like, what are you? Yeah, like I don't, under, I don't understand that shit at all because people get behind that whole like. I mean, you understand it. I understand that they're yeah. just like faking it, but it's like, how are people not like stepping back and being like, okay, you have like a six hundred thousand dollars house that probably costs thirty thousand dollars a year just to have, and you're crying about gentrification. Yeah, I feel like there's like a weird, I feel like there's a weird section of the world that's like, oh, just don't bother me with that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's people that are so rich. They just want to live in the city. They want their kid to go to the nice school. Yeah. And they see the whole, like, young political part of it, and they're like, just leave me be. I'm, I put up my Black Lives Matter sign. Yeah. Please leave me alone. You yeah, that's, I mean? like, the people around here, when I'm talking to them, they fucking hate those signs. Oh, yeah. People that are actually from there, like, you have, you shouldn't have any fucking signs in front of your house. Well, that's retarded. Besides, like, my dog lives here in case of a fire. Come save him. Yeah. Yeah, like, it is it is wild. Like, the whole weird, like, whoever's running the the whole Marxist push of, like, with the Black Lives Matter Antifa and stuff, whoever has made it cool to just butt fuck your windows with signs about stuff that literally doesn't matter, it's like they are winning so hard right now. It's the betas. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. It's the betas and the simps. Dudes with the fucking overbites. The betas and the simps. I mean, you could say that, but it's not good for you. I got an underbite. I'm like kind of alpha like that. Yeah. Um, the betas and the simps, dude. That's what happens. It is the crazy. The bays are like, we should we should do this. And then it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd all, hit a it's woman. It's like a hive mind. <laughs> you know? If I had a house and someone peppered the front of my shit with Black Lives Matter, I'd hit someone. If it was a woman, so be it. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> It's just like get the fuck out of here. Like obviously it's a joke. It's a comedy podcast. Everything's a joke. But like I don't know how you like these dudes see this happen. Just speak up for yourself. If you're listening to this right now secretly and your girlfriend doesn't know you listen to this, Uh, I feel for you, brother. I feel for you so much. It must feel amazing. But you got to speak up for yourself. Yeah, because when you get in bed at night, you're with a girl and she's probably so soft and smells good. Yeah. 
and like she shampoos her hair and it smells real good from like three feet away. Is that Maui? I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Maui shampoo smells yeah, so probably, good. I mean, probably feels so good. But it is crazy. Like I try to explain probably it. Never lonely and stuff. <laughs> I tried to explain it to my uh, cousin the other day. Like he's about to get married, do all that shit. And it's like, dude. You can't start, like, losing a ton of these small battles and just being like, that's what it is. Because then you live a life of hell. I see so many people doing this. You pick your battles, man. You know? That's what it is. But you always lose when you fight against them. But those dudes are losing. Those guys are letting them walk all over them. Yeah, I mean. It's also not a bad thing. They could just. That's a whole thing. Like, oh, yeah, I get sniz because I'm fucking. I'm a lefty. Yeah, I mean, that that's the funny thing. I was talking to someone who will remain nameless about that. It's like his girl, his girls, the, like one of the girls he knew or knew, like still wants to. Biblically? What's that? New biblically? What do you mean? Like sexy time? Sexy time, all that shit. Like she likes him and he's just one of the boys. And then. Just she, fucking Chad. They're gone. A cat. Not, not together anymore. And like she's banging all these dudes who are like. Black Lives Matter, all, like, real, like, very pussies, pretty much. And, like, she's doing that. And in in reality, they just want to hang out with the boy, dude. The normal boy who's doing the normal shit. So you're saying that this dude, they were together. Yeah. I mean, she's gone off to, like, the extreme liberals. Yes. And she's, like, banging them all the Bang yeah. all these But in reality, like, if you're sitting there in a car with her and you're like, ah, oh, that dude's a fag, she'll laugh. Okay. Like, everyone's just playing pretend right now. I just think everyone should just hit pause on the game, restart it, and just everyone be normal. Yeah, that's the the signaling. What, the what? The, the signaling, the what? virtue signaling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I think it's just gone they a little. They take it to another level, though. They, yeah. They let wieners inside of them to signal. That's not good. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. think any of this shit is good. I just think. They do that. I know they do that. They lay, they lay with them. How does that make you feel? It's just something that they get to do. That's cool. And that's... I'm still kind of heated that you would think, like, you have to be short to have a pedophile <laughs> on it. So, I mean, that's going to fuck me up for a while. I yeah. mean... Like, how tall is that shit? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's also, How like, do you not, like, you know... Or... A short guy could make you happy? Yeah. You don't know that. Spade will go to Rosh Hashanah. He doesn't no, care. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Let's not, don't get it twisted. Bro. Yeah. These, these colors don't run. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a joke. This is a comedy podcast. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll stop there and move over to the Patreon. Let me get this Epstein map.